Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my homestead. I just got home from the garden club at the local library. We get together once a week and clean up the flower beds at the library. But I got home, The it was nice weather when we were there. And then right when it was time for us to leave, it got really dark and cloudy and the temperature dropped quite a bit. And it was threatening rain, but I got home, the sun came back out. But it's still a little chilly. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get these potatoes planted in that row that I had already dug and ready to go. And then I'm gonna see if I can get some more of the garden rototilled before it starts raining because it is supposed to rain in maybe an hour and a half two hours so we'll see what i can get done it's already warming up just wait five minutes the weather will change this kind is red norland mid-season red potato and not all of these are going to fit in this row here but i just want to get this one finished up That is about all I can handle for right now. I definitely need to take a break because my hands and my arms are hurting <laughs> from that thing jumping around so much. I've gotten through the easy part, which I had already raked through and pulled a lot of grass and weeds out of. And I'm getting into the portion that I hadn't gotten to yet. This um, tougher section also the rototiller is jumping around and bouncing around a lot more um, in the harder soil with the, all the roots and stuff in it. So I'm going to have to do it in small spurts because that thing is rough. I'm going to take a little break and hopefully I'll get back out here soon. It is now the next day. I didn't get back out yesterday because maybe 20 minutes after I went into the house, it started pouring down rain and really didn't stop the rest of the day. Thankfully, I'd cleaned all my tools up before I went in just in case. Uh, the downside is I really wish I had been able to rake through that part that I had already tilled up because I'm worried the rain has helped the weeds and roots of the grass and stuff to grow a little bit more and try to reestablish themselves. In that time period with all that rain um but on a positive note i was checking my asparagus patch this morning right next to the strawberries is the asparagus patch which i mean it just looks like grass because it mostly is but i have had some asparagus coming up they're all really thin like this and spindly so far um you know really tiny so i don't really want to to pick them. I think they're not really established very well. Like this one's teeny tiny. But I did find one today that is big enough to pick and eat. This one's about the size of a pencil, so I think that's about the size you're supposed to supposed to pick them at. It's not much, but it's something. And it's really good too. So I'm gonna have this snack and then I'm going to 
get working on the garden again. If anyone has any suggestions of how I could take this asparagus patch back from the grass without, you know, getting all the grass out without killing the asparagus in the process or damaging it, um, that would be appreciated because it's very overgrown. And I'm not really sure how well it's going to do with so much grass and weeds in there. It is a new day and as you saw I finished up breaking through the portion I'd already tilled and I'm going to start tilling uh, for maybe about an hour or till my arms get tired whichever comes first so I have to go pick the kids up from school. I did get some ear protection today because it was a little loud last time See how far I can get today. Well, I've reached my hour mark where I need to leave soon. I think I got more than half of it done, but it's not doing the greatest job. It doesn't go very deep. Um, and I'll show you up close. So like, you know, there's still grass fully in there, but some stuff came out, but then there's other stuff that definitely didn't. So, uh, I think next time I get out here, I'll finish that strip down the middle, then like lightly rake through the top to pull off what I can. And then I think I'm going to need to go over it again with the rototiller before it's ready to go. We'll see if this actually takes less time than me just raking through it with the rake. <laughs> I'm not really sure at this point. Um, my hands are literally vibrating right now um, from how much this thing shakes. That's okay. Glad I'm taking a break and maybe my fingers and hands can get back to normal. It kind of feels like how I would imagine using one of those made 
or as seen on TV shake weight things you know, where you hold the weight and it vibrates for you to work your muscles this is that's kind of what this rototiller feels like to me I've never used one of those but I imagine it's a similar thing because it's just shaking me all over the place but time for a break go get the kids another day and I'm back at it in the garden with the rototiller and I'm gonna finish up what I didn't get done yesterday if you can see that bird. I'm gonna try to get a good pic picture of it. It's so pretty. There'd you go. There it is. Isn't that fun? It was some sort of Oreo, I think. So pretty. But back to work now. I just got back from taking a break, got something to eat, and now I'm going to start the next round of rototilling. Back over this whole section here a second time, and hopefully break up more of that grass that is still very rooted in there.
So it's been about a week and a half since the end of the last segment and we actually worked quite a bit longer after that video ended because the battery just died um, and we didn't even realize it. But still have quite a bit of work to do getting the grass out of this section here before I can plant stuff. But this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to move on to trying to plant some stuff in the areas that I already got all the roots out of. And thank you for hanging out with us over these several days. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.